Guys, I was messing around on the internet, snooping around looking, and I found this right here. Loki Thor? Loki Thor? <laughs> Loki Thor. Um, I found this right here. This is a jump box with the light, and it actually has air compressor. Now, what's awesome is it has a digital display. So, it may not be completely RC related, other than maybe if you're at a track or something and somebody needs a jump start, just like I did with the other jump box, you know? Um, that's kind of how I can put this into here, but I've got that tractor out there. So, having this with the air compressor and all that may actually help me out quite a bit um, if I happen to get into a situation with the tractor and I can't get up to my big air pump and all that. So, so we're going to get a good look at this thing on the table and see if we can go start something. This thing is really neat. Take a look. This is the unit right here and we're going to turn it on. Look at that. How about that? A digital display. That is phenomenal. Now, right here, this is, you can adjust your air pressure. So if you're pumping up your tire through this port right here, you can actually, guess what? Put this on your tire and walk away. Now these pumps, they aren't known for being very fast. So being able to walk away would actually be a benefit. So right here, you have a USB output. And right here is where you actually charge it with the cord that comes with it. That's the uh, USB-C, I believe it is. This is where you hook up your charger cables, which we'll get to those in just a second. So, right here is the light. I'm not going to shine it into it. Press a button. Holy moly. Hold it down. That was bright. Push it again. Whoo! You want to do some dancing? Push it again. And now we have the uh, SOS thing. We're going to turn that off. That was uh, way brighter. Now, as far as the charge indicator, there's actually a fourth bar. So right now it's about 75% charged. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on real quick. So that was a pump. Obviously we didn't get any pressure because there's nothing on here. So I'm gonna show you guys the accessories that come with it. And we may have to go give this thing a try. You get a few things with it. Obviously these right here plug into right over there. And this is what you use to jump your car off with. Now, if, if you notice these right here, they're kind of inset a little bit. You can't really make contact. You probably can if you really try for that, but it's uh, pretty well safe to say that they're not gonna make contact unless you just really try for it. Or if you happen to put these down into a toolbox that's plugged in and uh, well, you got sockets and stuff down there. That could cause issue. Got this right here for airing up inflatables. Cool, like a football there's a needle in there now to use those you can actually use this right here you got these ends on it right here so you can actually physically put those on here and uh, pump away this right here is for your tires and yes it does have the locking piece on it uh, this right here has got me a little bit I don't know what that's for but it's on this right here so it's got to be for something right I'll get that figured out but this right here, right here goes right on. And then here's your charge cord right here. This, you just plug this into any, uh, like a cell phone charger or an iPad or tablet charger, and it will charge up the uh, charger, the jump starter over there. Uh, could take a while, but we're just gonna mess with it just as it sits right now. To connect your accessory of choice, just simply put this right onto here just like that and now it is ready to air up a tire <laughs> we're going to test the pump out for the tire for the tractor this tire is rated for 22 psi i've got it at 11 psi so we're going to go ahead and turn it on and just let this do its thing and uh see how long it takes i'm going to set the pressure for 22 psi so it should stop when it gets there Let's turn it on. Now we just let it do its thing.
there we go. It held that 22 for a little longer than what I wanted, but uh, here we go. Turned off just like it's supposed to. Just for the heck of it, let's see if we want to bump that up a little bit. See if it comes on automatically. It does not. So that's a little bit of a good safety feature. But at that point, it will. I don't need that. So, all right, it shuts off just like it's supposed to at 22 for this particular tire. That was awesome. So to test this out, we're gonna use the stock battery that's on it and just simply turn it over. I've got the plug wires off, so we should be able to hear this motor turn over with the stock battery. <laughs> now I'm gonna hook the jumper up to that and give it another spin. Here we are, the jump starter is hooked up. It is kind of clicking. I'm assuming maybe because this battery isn't completely dead that it's uh, you know coming on and coming off, but let's see what we got here. And I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. I'll try to zoom in on it. You can actually see the battery voltage. And it is certainly clicking, isn't it? It's definitely doing something here. <laughs> Alrighty. So guys, that was the Lock of Thor unit right there. It's got the air compressor. Pump that tire up pretty darn quick. The light, I think will blind you. But uh should be awesome outside. Maybe I'll go try that out for you. Check this clip out. Okay, let's get this thing turned on. There we are. Alright. Now, so you got a flat tire and you need to actually set this up. Well, guess what? Pretty easy to see now. That's that's gonna come in handy. Like really. Because you know you never have a flat tire in a perfectly lighted space a space, do you? That's good. I like that. That is workable. Let's try the uh oh ooh. There's the SOS. <laughs> That was good lighting. It shined the wheel, I could see the lug nuts and everything, so that means if I do have a flat and it is dark, I will have the light that I need to take care of it. Hopefully, I can just simply turn on the air compressor and pump it back up and make it someplace. But in the worst case scenario, that light is awesome. The flashing, you put that down on the road, you know, traffic's coming, hey, they'll see, they can't avoid that. It's right there, so that's a good safety item right there. So, um, as far as the clicking, when I had it hooked up to the lawnmower, this has a lipo battery in it, and let me explain just a little bit about lipos. If you dead short a lipo, if you mistreat a lipo too much, because I do a lot of RC stuff, you know, um, that lipo will get mad and it will go nuclear. When it goes, you're not going to stop it. So unlike some of the other jump starters that I've tested, this particular one here seems to have that safety feature. When it brings the battery up to apparently 12.3 volts, it kicks off. So that's awesome. That means it's not going to risk overcharging your battery or overloading the battery that's in here. So with that said, I hooked it up to a relatively dead battery. It had about six and a half volts. It clicked on, held, brought that battery up to 12.3 volts and turned off. So that confirmed that it is a safety feature that the battery in my lawnmower is actually fairly decent. But I still thought I heard a little bit faster with this on there. So I don't think it was quite done. But regardless, uh, I do think the unit is pretty darn awesome and it absolutely will go on the back of my car. It's one of those things that you hope you don't need, like car insurance. You really don't want to deal with that, but if you have an accident, 
it can really save your butt. Same with, same with this thing right here. So, uh, guys, check that description. I'll put a link to this down there. Uh, so, check that description. Use those links. They are affiliate links. They help out the channel. Um, I'll, I'll put a few RC trucks down there. Why not? AMA, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. So, check those out. And, uh, guys, make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, here's those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.